Well, every year there is a meeting of the minds, so to speak, organized for the 100 or so uh, people, very powerful. Now, the, this is invite only, and the last few meetings have taken place at venues such as the Astor Place Resort in Athens, Greece, the Hotel Dolce in Spain, and the Suvretta House in St. Moritz, Switzerland. Well, this year it's scheduled to take place at the Westfield Marriott Hotel, not too far from here in Chantilly, Virginia. All right, so here's a look at the hotel from the outside, and that's all most people will see during this conference set to take place May 31st to June 3rd, as the hotel is totally booked and will be on lockdown. We were curious, though, about what this hotel is all about. Take a look at this. Here's the website to the Marriott where the conference is being held. It brags that it captures the elegance of Northern Virginia's colonial estates in a resort-like setting. And that's not all. This Chantilly, Virginia hotel offers a 24-hour fitness center, an indoor and outdoor pool. Plus, those who stay have access to the signature Westfield Fred Couples Golf Club, where no doubt some important conversations will be had. Now, in the hotel, there's Westfield's restaurant with the award-winning Sunday Champagne Brunch, a pub for those needed nightcaps, and, of course, Starbucks coffee. Well, there's a 40,000-square-foot conference center with award-winning catering, state-of-the-art audiovisual services, and wireless Internet. So that's a look at the location for this year's Bilderberg Conference. Let's talk now about what may, might be going on inside. Alex Jones is the host of The Alex Jones Show. And, Alex, I know that you and your team are no stranger to this hotel, and we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, but let me first get your take on what you supposed might be discussed and decided behind closed doors there. Well, they had the, their meeting there four years ago, and that's where they chose to have Hillary step down and for Obama to become the presumptive nominee for the Democrats uh, there in Denver in the 2008 DNC meeting. And for an entire day, the media in Virginia and in D.C. was saying, where's Obama? Where's Obama? And we were there saying, he's inside. The Secret Service is there. Uh, we had inside sources that he indeed was there with Hillary. And years later, that came out. But the mainstream media would not cover it, uh, it at that time. And so I think some of the same things will be discussed. Should the elite get behind Mitt Romney or Barack Obama? Both men are bought and paid for by the same financial interest. And so the discussion will be which candidate can basically con the American people into uh, laying down to tyranny for another four years. They'll undoubtedly be discussing wars with Iran, uh, ways to censor the Internet. Uh, that's been discussed in past years. The head of Google and others were attending in uh, Switzerland last year when my team covered it. So they're going to be discussing a lot of things. Also, how to sell the public on more banker bailouts, that is, more taxpayer money uh, paid to the private uh, banks that have hijacked our country. And uh, they'll also be discussing how to ram through carbon taxes uh, because their environmental uh, hoax has imploded. But, Alex, I mean, when you talk about uh, the decision being made about which candidate to support, I mean, we still, uh, you know, have a system in this country where people go to vote. When you talk about future policies being made, uh, we still do have a process. Legislation has to be written. Laws have to be voted on. Um, I guess I'm just wondering how this uh, Bilderberg conference is, you know, different than any other, uh, you know, meeting that important people have, lawmakers have, when they have dinner or, or play golf together already. Sure. Some of the minutes of Bilderberg have been leaked over the years, and Bilderberg has confirmed that it's been theirs. Uh, we've covered them at Infowars.com. The BBC has covered it. And the, the Bilderberg group set up officially in 1954 in Oosterbeck, Holland, uh, with Prince Bernhard and uh, others uh, establishing it, has always been pushing for one world corporate fascist government. And up until about five, six years ago, the mainstream media in this country, the United States, but also in Europe, would not even say it existed. They would admit that the Trilateral Commission, Skull and Bones, Bohemian Grove did. But they would say Bilderberg didn't exist. And so we know from past research that the 125 elitists that meet there and their 20 or so guests really do discuss policy behind closed doors and make a lot of important decisions. They also have three or four Bilderberg steering committee meetings uh, over the next year. So this is one of the most important globalist meetings ever. Uh, David Rockefeller in his memoirs has written about that. Uh, royalty attends this. And uh, this is one of the most important confabs out there. And Hillary Clinton was fined back in the 90s hundreds of thousands of dollars 
for attending Bilderberg when she was in the Clinton White House and discussing policy uh, at the event, violating the Logan Act. So wow. policy is being set there, and this is one of the most elite meetings out there. Uh, let's talk more about what you were just kind of touching on, which is that most of the mainstream media um, doesn't cover this. They observe sort of a blackout covering Bilderberg. Security is tightly controlled, and those who do get in, as you say, they've got to keep their lips sealed. Uh, but what if the media wanted to cover this, especially being that it's in Virginia this year? I know uh, you and your team had an experience trying to get some access in the past. What would people encounter if they asked for, say, a press pass to Bilderberg? Well, they won't even tell you that it exists when you go there. But then separately, because of pressure the last few years, they have created a website. They do put out a list of who's there. But generally, that's disinformation. Some of the people on the list aren't there. A lot of people that are there are not on the list. And in fact, some of the most important names. Uh, so I don't expect the mainline U.S. media to cover this this year because for so many decades, they told their readers and viewers it didn't exist and you were insane. So I think there is the big story. That shows you how powerful it is. The media for 50 years has covered Bohemian Grove. A lot of big decisions get made there. Uh, the media for decades has covered Skull and Bones. They will not cover Bilderberg. Now, because of the alternative media and RT and the Drudge Report and others starting to cover it, because of that and because the alternative media has become so dominant now, the Washington Post two weeks ago came out and admitted that, uh, that Senator Arubio was going to the South American conference to be part of an unofficial Bilderberg steering meeting. Anybody who knows about Bilderberg knows that the first media ever allowed in in 54 was the head of the Graham family at Bilderberg in Europe. And so every year since then, uh, either the son or the mother or the CEO uh, of the Washington Post um, media empire attends, and they would never report on it. Now, two weeks ago, in a big column, they basically go, yeah. Rubio wants to be vetted by Bilderberg. He wants to up his international cred at Bilderberg coming up uh, in early June. So he's going to this conference. And Alex, for, for those of our viewers who don't know, just give us a little, um, a little nuts and bolts recap of what happened when you tried to uh, get into the hotel the last time around. Well, I checked in two days before they shut it down and kick you out. And I had security walk up after I checked in and said, Alex Jones, don't you dare try to steal anything. And I said, well, I don't steal. I don't, I don't have a criminal record. And then I go in my hotel room, and the, and the fire alarm goes off. And then they come out and accuse me of doing it and, and told me I was trying to steal vases. Oh, oh, in fact, they'd said, don't steal, don't try to steal vases during fire alarms. But now and you I'm weren't able to, to be in the hotel when the conference was going on. Sure, sure. No, no. Then they kicked me out. Uh, and then they had cars following us, people breaking into our hotel rooms, threatening phone calls. Uh, all sorts of stuff, uh, military in plain clothes, uh, harassing us. I mean, it was bizarre. But Jim Tucker got shot at uh, in Portugal, what, back in, I think it was 1991. So, so this is wild. I mean, in the past, they really wanted to be secretive. Now that their cover is blown, uh, they admit that they basically exist, but say that they're just a, you know, meeting, uh, you know, discussing policy in a free and open way, and that's why they have the uh, secrecy. But... The New York Times, a few years after I infiltrated, attacked my film, The Obama Deception, and said that I was at the Westfields Marriott in Virginia having a hallucination. Oh, goodness. And, and that I was insane and that nothing even happened there. And All right. remember, the whole media is looking for Obama and Hillary. We're there. They're there. The Secret Service motorcade is there. And the national media would not come and cover it. That's how powerful Bilderberg is. And I'm calling in closing... I'm calling to occupy Bilderberg, to protest it, and I'm calling for tens of thousands to be there coming up in one month. All right. Well, you keep us posted on, on what you see, and we'll certainly keep our eyes there as well, since it is sort of, uh, relatively speaking, in our backyard this year. Alex Jones, host of The Alex Jones Show. Thanks so much. Thank you.